All right, guys, so this, um, when setting up a file to cut on the CNC, the Shape Oco, um, the max size that I can um, CNC, what I found out is about 31 inches. But for this particular job in this file, I'm going to measure my board. It's 24 by 18. And remember, I told you that's the best yield out of a four by eight sheet of material. And so I remember that, but what I also have to do is I've got these uh, digital micrometer and we need to measure the thickness of the board. There's a 493. I'll do both sides just to be on the safe side and get a that's 489. So I'm going to go with the thickest part, which is 493, 492. And uh, that's what I'm going to take into a spire. 493. Write that down so I don't forget it. Put this back in this little case. Set up my. Material. What I'm doing is I'm basically I'm uh, I'm measuring off of this this rail right here, and because I know that this is square, so that's why I'm taking the tape measure and measuring from here to the edge there. So that's all I'm basically doing. Um, so that is perfectly square. I just had to take a look and see where this thing is actually going to cut. So for this one, I'm going to have to use my minis. I'm telling these rocklers, man, these things, uh, they make, make two sizes. One's a big one, one's a small one, and these things are so stout. Um, I used to use the original ones, and they work okay for what they are, but once you use these, there's no going back. And of course, my table is threaded, and yes, I cut all those holes and put all those inserts in. And when I'm putting these hold downs, and I put them in, um, you have to make sure that, uh, so I am going to put that right about there. Now when I find my zero on this board, obviously um, this clamp will probably be in the way because um, this sign has um, square corners and I believe they're about an inch. So uh, I'm going to try to put this as close to the edge as I possibly can without that new bit. And yes, I broke down and I put a new bit in. Um, not to cut into the aluminum. And so each one of these clamps has a battle wound. I'm telling you, if you get your fingers close to that thing, it just won't stop. So let's get this zeroed. Go back to my jog. I'm going to rapid position. this down here so that you can kind of see what I'm doing here and I do this manually I don't use the uh, the touch probe I've found it to be somewhat inaccurate so I don't uh, I don't trust it you know? So, 
There's that. Now I need to zero it on the wood. Essentially, I just spin the bit so it's half and half. And then I will bring it up and kind of do the same thing. Let's go that way so it won't. And then one, two. That's where everything needs to be. Set my zero. Zero all. Done. It's the only thing I have to do now is uh, set up the file in Aspire and come back here and cut it. That we are going to put on the Shape Oco or have CNC. Um, as you can see, like I said, my yield is better 24 by 18. So what I do is I take these signs and I knock off about a half inch on the height and that reduces the width enough that uh, it'll fit on that 24 by 18 piece very nicely. So that being said, I take the shape, export it. Now I've already done this once. Um, I'm going to put it in my Aspire production file, kids in. Uh, yes, replace. Close that. Open Aspire, uh, create a new file. 18 by 24 and as I showed you uh, 0.94 is my thickness uh, for this piece so click OK uh, go to import and kids in I want to center this and that's that that little mark there profile toolpath so I'll have to adjust the depth Let's say uh, so we'll go 9.5. I want to do four passes um, just because I think that it cuts a little bit cleaner. And uh, so set passes. Okay. I'm going to add tabs. Edit my tabs. And I'm going to put my tab right there. Tab right there tab down here and a tab right there and in my opinion that's all that you need hit done call this k i d z i n n 18 by 24 hit calculate everything else should be fine yes uh, we know what will cut through that's good and then preview tool paths so that all you can see uh, it should cut through there's my tab there's a tab there's a tab there's a tab so it should be good select the toolpath hit close and then we go to save it on that computer so we go to network so gateway pc is where that is i go to my hard drive and i put this in the production file with the rest of the g code Kids in, hit save, and that's done. Then we, uh... Okay, so now we pretty much have everything set up, and I know I uh, wanted to go over this real quick. You'd be proud of me. Actually, I upgraded my uh, eighth-inch blade. I actually went to a one flu um, Zern blade. Um, man, that thing cuts like butter. It makes all the difference in the world on the smoothness of cuts. Um, I don't know if you can... See it or not. It's kind of bad lighting, but you can see it's uh so I'm going to go to load and on this hard drive back in production files, kids in sign, file name, open. I'm gonna go into motion and hit run, and at that point it's uh it's pretty much ready to go. So let me make sure I got everything ready. It's going to be a little loud because I run the vacuum or the uh, wet vac vacuum cleaner.
like this shit. Okay. So there you go. Nice and clean cut. This cuts so much better than uh, than the old blade. This got a little close. For whatever reason, that moved or pulled away, but it ain't a big deal. I can stand that. And there you go. So, in less than three minutes, like I said, you got a MDO wood sign that's uh, primed and ready to paint.